from the Gurdwell Park Country Fair here in Uffcombe in the surroundings of the Lord and Lady Mountbatten's house. There's all sorts taking place today from crafts to the car show to the events taking place behind me in the main ring. Entertainment wasn't in short supply and despite heavy rain in the morning, neither were the crowds who turned out. This rock and roll troupe performed at the show for the first time and they were joined by the likes of Lance on his guitar, a display from the Foxhounds and Cogs and Wheels. What's it like to perform in front of this crowd here? Oh, it's excellent. Yeah, we, we tend to sort of um, come into our own when we have an audience, and like, the bigger audience, the better. <laughs> Elsewhere in the grounds, canine companions were judged in the dog show, and from four legs to four wheels, a car show drew enthusiasts from across the region. The ferret racing drew more crowds, with people taking a small gamble on which ferret they thought was going to win. Businesses and organisations were also able to promote themselves and show their locally produced products. So to promote locally, um, it's a local brand. Um, people want to see uh, the local producers uh, supporting events like this, um, and you know one must continue to do so. Um, yesterday, I was at um, was one of the sponsors for Wellington High Street, the food uh, town festival. So again, is uh, you must show your local products and build what's called um, a customer loyalty brand as well. Promoting themselves and raising money was also one of the key aims for the charities at the show. Help for Heroes, the Devon Air Ambulance and the show's main charity, the NSPCC, were all welcoming donations. Yeah, brilliant turn up. Some really, really nice stalls as well. Some new stalls and some really nice ones selling for really good quality country. After all, it is a country fair, so we want to sort of represent this area and we, I think we've done that. How much money are you hoping to raise from today's event? Um, we're hoping this event will raise approximately £10,000. So um, the gates are busy, lots of people coming in, paying their £4 to come in. So it looks like we're going to do quite well. And the money, of course, will go to Childline. Yeah, money, of course, is going to Childline. Um, our nearest base is down there in Exeter, only 25 odd miles from here and helping local children so we're a very important service to the local, local young people. The land is owned by Lord and Lady Ivor Mountbatten and he too was enjoying the day. Well, it's a lovely day. I mean, everybody. Uh, I think everybody enjoys it. Um, I'm always very surprised when I look out of my window in the morning and seeing uh, all the tents there. Um, this morning was a little bit of a disappointment. We had tons of rain, and I thought, oh no. And unfortunately, what that does is it puts the uh, the stall holders off. So when the stall holders look out of their windows, they oh well, I, I'm not sure if I can be bothered to go out to Bridwell today. It's a bit of a damp. But I think uh, this afternoon the weather's come back and everybody's having a good time. That's lovely. There's a lot of hard work which goes into organising the event from start to finish. And organisers plan for more than half a year to make sure things are just right. Oh yes, we're trying to improve every year, and we had the uh, we were very lucky this year. We had Rose Channing who um, opened the show. She's the new show director of Mid Devon, and most of my um, helpers are from Mid Devon Show. So I'm very lucky. And the X Valley Rotary team who's helped us with support, and we have Mr. Dors Dorsey who gives us the straw bells free of charge or let's use them. So everything's you know pulled well together. 
how much organisation needs to go into getting this event off the ground? Overall, it, it starts off about nine months, I suppose, because once you start doing your stores and you go around to each individual show and, and advertising your bits and pieces, so it's uh, you take your banners around and you and so it's quite quite a long old chore, right? And from the sounds of it, the event just keeps getting bigger and better. So we'll have to come back in 2011 and see what more is on offer. Lewis Clark for Lose News at Bridwell Park.